Good morning. Good morning. Guess what? Mm. We get to go see the baby today. Okay, he's zoned. Yeah. Yeah. Let's rename the baby. I don't know. You don't know? What if it's a boy? No, he wants a sister. He wants a brother, he just doesn't know it. I don't know, he keeps telling me sister. Hendrix, do you want a brother or a sister? <laughs> he told me sister yesterday. Hendrix, come here. Yes! <laughs> so sorry. Yes, mom. Do you want a sister or a brother? Brother. You wanted a sister yesterday. No, brother. <laughs> you want a brother? Yeah. <laughs> Do we just ask that much of him? I guess. Can you feel the baby? Mm-hmm. Oh, if the baby's even awake. Oh, do you know what? Mm -hmm. Put your hand back. Oh, it doesn't want to move now. As soon as you moved your hand, they felt it. Mm -hmm. Baby, we can it open. Oh, well, we can't open it yet. Why? Because the baby's got to keep growing. Yeah. Do you get tired? You were so close. What are we gonna go do? Go doctor. Go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. We are gonna go to the doctor. We're gonna go do my 17 week no, update. Baby. We go see the baby. Yeah. We're gonna go see the baby. We've got my 17 week and brother, and sister. Brother and sister. Yeah. Well, there's only one baby in there, so it might be a brother or a sister. Oh, I don't know how good that apple juice is. Ew. We'll get you a new one, okay? Okay. Maybe we'll go to Starbucks. Are you gonna hear the baby's heartbeat? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think it'll sound like? Cookie Gaga. That's what it's gonna sound like. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't foresee them doing too much besides just checking baby's heartbeat. So I'm 17 weeks and five days today, which is just crazy to me. Oh, it's this alarm. Hey, you push that. Push this one. Two, right? Uh, I think that's what I was trying to look. <laughs> what about the time now? Ready? <laughs> we are a little late. Oh, you got grape? Yeah. Yum. Dude, you don't have like four in my pocket. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sneaky. I didn't even notice that. The only yeah. person that knew that was him just because he watched me do it. Oh, really? Do you feel your baby? Is it a baby? You feel my belly? Yep. Yeah. Yep, they're gonna listen to the baby's heartbeat. Make sure it's good and strong. Yeah. You think the baby's good and strong? Yeah. I would say so based off the of kicks. Alright, we're gonna listen to Mama. You wanna come stand over here? Yeah. Yeah. Here, you're gonna turn around so that, yeah, stand like that so you, so Dad can see you. He's like, come in. What's that? That was the baby moving. That's the baby moving again. Yeah. <laughs> Heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. It's about 140, which sounds good. 
Do you want a baby sister or a baby brother? Um, I want a baby sister. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> we are back from the appointment and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of like a pregnancy update because I haven't done anything of that assortment and I'm almost halfway through my pregnancy, which is just crazy to me. I feel like I haven't really said much about this pregnancy, just mainly for the fact of it's been so different than Hendrix's. Like with Hendrix, I was extremely sick. Um, if you guys followed me, then you would know that I was in the hospital for IVs almost every week. It was just not fun. And I think that was probably like one of my biggest fears with getting pregnant again is like having to go through that. I know each pregnancy is different. I was actually talking to my OB about it and she's like, you know, something to keep in mind to where these babies don't have the same dad is that you can have different symptoms in a sense. So she's like, you know, maybe in your first pregnancy you'll have really bad like high blood pressure, but because with this baby you have a, it has a different dad, then like you might not have that same symptom. So I thought that was really interesting. I figured I would just run through like from what I found out to kind of currently because honestly like there's just not a whole ton to like update on I guess. So it says five weeks I had really sore boobs. I was tired peeing all the time and that's when I started to take my prenatals. I was taking the rainbow light prenatals but they just made me way too sick. I felt nauseous all the time after taking them and I wasn't sure if it's just because I was in the beginning weeks of pregnancy or if it was just the actual like prenatal that was making me sick. So I did end up switching over to the brand Ollie, I believe. It looks like on September 30th, I had a little bit of light pink spotting. I do remember that day, I was really nervous. Um, just because if you don't know, I did have a miscarriage previously a few years ago. Week six, I was very bloated. I was hungry all the time. The very beginning weeks, I was so hungry. Like I couldn't get enough food, but if I were to eat a meal, I would feel full pretty quick. So I had to rely on snacks a lot. I felt like I was always snacking at work. Um, and then right around that time is when I actually bought a Lush bar, which I have it in this little tin and I actually recommend it to just about any and every pregnant woman. Obviously there's only so much you can do to prevent stretch marks, but for me, I mainly got it because my belly gets so itchy, very dry, especially being here in Utah. I've noticed that my belly is feeling itchy and dry. This is just the massage bar from Lush. I highly recommend it to any pregnant woman. I think it's maybe around like $10, might be a little more, a little less, but it lasts me the entire nine months. At 13 weeks is when I was starting to point out to Kenny that I thought I was feeling movement. It was just those little, little flutters, which I don't recall what I felt that with Hendrix. I haven't like looked back at my vlogs or anything from that pregnancy. Um, at 16 weeks, I had really bad pelvic pain. That was really intense for me. It was actually over Thanksgiving. We were staying at Kenny's mom's house. We had to go up and down the stairs to get to the basement because that's like where we were sleeping and stuff and like getting off the bed and going up the stairs like I wanted to cry just a little bit. I have a very low pain tolerance but like it literally felt like I was 40 weeks pregnant and it was just it was very intense. I don't know if I just slept wrong or what but it was very painful and it lasted for maybe like two or three days. 16 weeks, four days, baby was active all night. I think that was like the most I'd felt the baby had actually kept me awake because the kicks are getting stronger, the movements are getting bigger. 16 weeks, five days is when I first saw the baby kick from the outside, which I don't think I saw that until almost 18 weeks with Hendrix. So that was really cool. 17 weeks, I was able to feel baby move all day and all night. Um, and then that was the day that Kenny actually felt the baby for the first time. It was a very light kick, but he still was like, I'm pretty sure that was the baby too. So 17 weeks, three days, Kenny felt biggest kick yet. It was a non-questionable kick. By 17 weeks, like the baby is full on kicking. If you follow me on Instagram, I occasionally, well, I've been doing it more recently, but the baby kicks so strong. Like for being as little as it is, like it blows me away at just how strong this baby can kick. That leads me up to 17 weeks and five days. So we had our appointment. Everything looked really good. Um, they just did like the urine sample, checked my weight. So far my weight gain, I didn't have my first appointment until I think I was right around 12 or 13 weeks. And the only reason why I waited so long is because with Hendrix, I had a few complications towards the end of my pregnancy. He had stopped growing in a sense. I don't know if there's like a medical term for that or anything, but 
he basically had stopped gaining weight. He stopped growing at 38 weeks. I was still measuring 35 and I was starting to lose weight. So because of that, they did induce me. The delivery itself was also very, well, I wouldn't say complicated, but just getting him out was a little complicated, I guess, if you will. I was really picky with my doctor. I wanted somebody that was going to be very good and, you know, treat me more than just, you know, another patient. So I'm very happy with the doctor that I found. But something she did mention that because of my blood type, I have a negative blood type. I had to get a, a shot when I was pregnant with Hendrix and I completely forgot about this until she had mentioned it because I haven't moved like my medical records over to this office or anything and so when she said that i was like oh my gosh i do remember that because i remember having to get a shot in my butt we're pretty sure kenny's a negative he needs to double check but with gus i did not know his blood type and so they gave me a rogan shot because so my blood type is negative so if kenny was a positive we don't know what the baby you know obviously has as a blood type it could be negative it could be positive Basically, my blood would be like, um, okay, what is this? Because it's a positive, baby's blood is positive. It would basically go and attack the baby, and we don't want that. So, But we're pretty sure Kenny's a negative, so I don't know that I'll have to get at this pregnancy, but they do it, I think, around like 28 weeks or something, and then again after baby's um, delivered. A few things that I also wrote down is that I can't have coffee. It gives me instant migraines. I've tried to have coffee here and there just because sometimes I'll crave it. You know, I was a coffee drinker before I got pregnant. Um, and as soon as I take a sip of it, like it just gives me an instant migraine. I don't know if it's just the amount of sugar in it or what, because I can do little amounts of soda, which I know has like just as much sugar and all that in it. Or I can do like a strawberry assay refresher from Starbucks. That's been really good to me. But like, I don't know, just something about coffee just gives me really, really bad mig really bad migraines that I can't shake. So a few cravings that I have um sweets milkshakes nerds rope um there's that honey chex mix it's like sweet and salty or something that has been really good to me but i've also been really trying to limit my sugar intake because i'm really trying hard not to gain weight that's what i was going to talk about earlier was my weight gain um i don't know how i got sidetracked with that but my weight gain hasn't been bad at all like i said we didn't have our first appointment until 13 weeks before that, I was around 110, and now I'm at 114, starting at basically 18 weeks. So I've gained four pounds, which I don't think is bad at all. I am not scared to gain weight. I just don't want to gain an excess amount of weight or weight that I don't need. So, I mean, if baby needs to gain weight and that's what my body needs to do, then, like, so be it. But I want it to be because I'm being healthy and not just stuffing my face with junk food. So I have been trying to, like, limit my sweet intake and all that deliciousness. I have also been really craving like cucumbers. Um, there's a Greek salad that I love. I think I've pointed that out a few times. Um, I also have down here guacamole and chips. I could eat that all day <laughs> along with the halo oranges. Me and Hendrix could just devour a bag of those. Those have been really good to me. I definitely have been trying to hit up those cravings a little bit more just to keep baby healthy. I've been loving vegetables. Um, but I definitely have a very, very big sweet tooth. The sun is starting to set. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Just because for one, it's getting super long. And I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking. But I hope to do more of these. I think I'm going to film a QA and a in a couple of days. I don't know. Like I miss doing sit down videos. I'm going to end the vlog here so I can go hang out with my family. I appreciate you guys watching. And we will see you soon.